Before text alerts and rolling 24-7 news mush, the only way to get people's attention was by walking the streets ringing a bloody great bell. The bigger the news, the bigger the bell. And for bell ringers, there's no bigger news than the crowning of a king. Twas ever thus. Now a young Kiwi's bold decision to study the ancient art has paid off. The coronation of King Charles is only 10 days away and 19-year-old Dylan Thomas has scored the plum job of making sure everybody hears about it. So how exactly does one become a professional bell ringer to an actual king in 2023? <laughs> well, let's find out. Dylan Thomas joins us now from London. So, yeah, Dylan, I mean, I don't know the first thing about bell ringing. How did you get into it? That is, that's actually a really difficult question. Um, but see, a few years ago, I was sort of watched a YouTube video of, of bells in a different country, clicked on it, watched it, was instantly hooked, uh, but didn't actually go looking, see if there was like manual bell ringing for years. And I sort of thought, okay, maybe I'll contact a local church or something, see what's going on. And Wellington Cathedral happened to have a 12 hung in the English style. And I thought, okay, well, might as well do it. If I've been hanging around for the last two years liking bells, why haven't I gone and joined the band? It's one thing to go to your local church and go, hey, gizz a hoon on your big bells. <laughs> it's another to be doing this officially for the King's coronation. How did you get that job? Yeah, well, no, you don't really, it's not really a job that you get. I mean, some things you do, you get as a job, but this is sort of something that everyone's going to be doing. Because, because just because I'm generally in the UK, that they want every ringer possible to be ringing the bells. So I've probably been invited to about, um, you know, at least seven different performances in different places. I'm shooting all over the place. It's just like a bit of a duty, really. It's, it's, it's really cool, actually. Now, Dylan, I'm a bit vague on bell work. I play the clarinet. Um, but are, they, oh, yeah. the, <laughs> are yeah. they the smaller sort of... Do you just, just do the tug-tug big ones or do the smaller swing-swing ones as well? <laughs> Mix of both. So they range, typically, it's about 200 kilos to maybe 2,000 for the biggest ones. But there are a few here and there that are over two tonnes. And um, oh. I think there's, there's one ring in Liverpool at the cathedral, which is like a four-ton 12. I mean, that's huge. There's only one. They're, they are very, very heavy. Um, is, is it hard to get the timing right? Because I, I don't know quite the logistics of it, but I guess when you pull it down... The, 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 the dangly bit's got to swing. There must be a bit of time before the dangle bit hits the, the, the belly bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when you pull, it's about, oh, God, it's about a second, I think, on average. I, I guess what I'm wait. saying is, is there, like, if the king goes, hit it, do you have to preempt that by one second? Do you, are you always ready to go just in case he's about to go now? Uh, are we already? I think, mm, I think we'll probably be all ready to go. Yeah. So we'll, we'll just... As soon as it hits two o'clock, we'll just all someone will go look two, triples going gone, and we'll just and we'll just ring. To be clear, we the coronation will not include the king turning to his right and saying, "Hit it." That would be if cool. I was but... <laughs> it's been so fascinating, Dylan. Thanks for speaking to us. All right, no worries. <laughs> Great story, first Whoa. up. Whoa. Uh, one New Zealander, very excited about that coronation. By the way, if you're inspired by that and you want to become a bell ringer, sadly it won't make you rich. Uh, we asked Dylan uh, how much he's going to make out of the coronation. Well, he gets paid nothing. He's got to pay for his own bus ticket to get there and give a donation to the local church when he's ringing the bells. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't think that would matter to him because I don't think I have ever seen anybody so passionate about dong. Yeah. <laughs> I was with you for a moment, Paddy. <laughs> <Order of drive. laughs> well, yeah. ringing the donger anyway. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of uh, language around bell ringing that we've uh, tried to be mature about tonight. Yeah, we're being very mature. <laughs>